Talking about, uh, I might have a story for you guys. <laughs> All right, talking about drama. When I, I was, okay, so I was in World of Warcraft and I was uh, on a server. We were on Kirin Tor. And one guy, this is the guy was my arena partner. He's like, hey, my guild is moving over to this other server to merge with the top people over there. And he's like, I want you to come with us. And the thing is, is I was in my own little guild. And I, it, it, was, it was quaint. We weren't getting a lot done. Uh, I was the leader of that guild. And, and I, I thought about it for a while. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I do want to raid with top people. And so I, I told my, my friends, I was like, hey, I'm going to swap servers. I got an opportunity to play with the, these, these big kids. And I was like... Uh, so I'm gonna you know give leadership to this other person here to take over and they're like all right cool Hey, and, and dude, they were cool about it. They were like hey post pictures on our forum so we can see how you're doing over there And I was like you got it So I transfer over there now. Here's what here's what I find out we, we go over to thrall and the uh, Pala, Pala partner his name was easy mode so easy mode does not even tell them about me It's just they're like all right Who are the people that are in your guild that are merging and he was like blah 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 and muck luck He just lied and told them I was in his guild to get me in and I, I was just like wait What and, you know, I, I was like I, I we'd already done the transfer so I didn't say anything I was like all right So I get into this guild and then the first raid they were full and they had me uh, wait outside now I at that time didn't know what a bench was it was basically someone who shows up on time for raid, but they they're not in like the uh, you know you know like a basketball you got the extra players on the bench in case in case someone can't make it or someone sprains a wrist or something. I, I was the, the the bench person and I was just like, Dude, muck this. After like ten minutes, like I just, I just logged off. Uh, I, I went to sleep. Uh, I literally just went to bed. <laughs> so the next day they were like kind of cross with me about that. And I was just like, sorry, I, I wasn't just going to stand there. And they're like, all right, whatever. They're like, look, we need you today. And I'm like, fine. So I get in there and I was used to being on, you know, on the other thing. So I get in there and I'm like, you know, I'm like, all right, incoming. Hey, watch out, watch out, watch out. Get out of the circle. Get out of the circle. Get out of the circle. Uh, you know, like, hey, Bob, 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 move, move, move. There, there you go. Okay, Sally, can you rest, Bob? You know, I, I started shot calling. And I was like a guest in someone else's house. And after like the third or fourth time, I was just like, guy, I, I was like, guy, I, this is in front of 25 people and I don't know 24 of them. I was like, guys, I'm so sorry. I just realized what I'm doing. I'll, I'm gonna try to stop. I'm sorry, I used to do this. And one of them is like, no, wait, this is going really good. Please continue. And I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, I'm like, okay. I was like, if I overstep my bounds, please tell me to shut up. And he's like, no, it's fine. Keep going. So I start shot calling. So I, I, I don't have like a rank or anything like that, but I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm becoming the guy they listen to. Okay. So their guild leader is like in the military or something. He's currently gone for like a month or two. I'm effectively raid leading this guild that I'm just like the lowest rank in for like two months. The guy comes back. And this is my first time meeting him. This is wow, yeah, this is wow. He comes back, this is my first time meeting him. And I have led this guild to downing, not server first yet, but I have cleared them through Ulduar with me leading. And we, uh, this guy comes back and they're like, hey, this is uh, this is Raylock. Uh, he is supposed to, he's, he's not supposed to. They're, they're like, he's the guild leader. A lot of you meeting him for the first time. And I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. And I talked to this guy for five minutes before I realized I'm better at the game than he is. I'm sorry. That's a really brutal way to say it, but I'm just going to say it how it is. And I was just like, oh, no. Oh, no. I worked so hard to get us where we are now. And this guy's not that great. <laughs> so the Argent tournament uh, deal, the Argent tournament uh, content patch comes out. And we're in the Argent tournament and there's this fight in the tournament that is a lot of people called it like the pvp fight you fought i think it was like nine npcs but you they weren't tankable they ran around they attacked whoever they wanted so you would like sap one polymorph another you know you, you used crowd control and then burn down them one at a time 
and the the fragile people were very prone to dying. They got the Weaver experience, you go those two players, because the stuff couldn't be tanked. And if they didn't have like PVP reflexes, if they were just used to being a mage in a raid and the tank holds the mob over there and they just stand back here and shoot bolts and they're safe, they were dying left and right. So we're doing this fight. And after the first or, or second, uh, you know, I'm trying to explain it. I, I was like, hey, do you want me to do it? He's like, yeah, go ahead. You know, I, I haven't been here in a while. I'm rusty. I was like, okay. And I'm like, oh, that's a very practical way of looking at it. So I explained the fight and he, and he, we do the first attempt. Lots of people die, including Raylock. So after, on the next attempt, Raylock's like, hey guys, I, I want you guys to put on stamina gear. Now that basically is like, uh, uh, chat, I want you to imagine if you could just change your gear to be full vitality. He's like, put on vitality gear. Why, why are we doing that, sir? And he's like, well, we're dying a lot. I think we need to get all the mages and stuff to put out, put on, uh, you know, stamina gear. And uh, he's like, yeah, we can get the tailors to make uh, some of this. Uh, and there was this one set of gear that was like frost resist and stamina. That's it. It was meant for to be the tanks to tank like the freezing bosses. That's it. And he wanted the, to use the guild's resources to deck everyone else in this. And I was like, if we do that, like we're not gonna meet, beat the enrage timer. We won't have the damage. We need people to just improve. You know, I'm trying to not say get good. And he's like, no, as he's like, all right, all right. I say what, I'm gonna put this on and, and I'll show you how it does. So he puts on, he looks like a warlock in blue pajamas. He puts on this gear. Next attempt, we kill it and he's the only one dead. And I am biting my tongue so hard and there's 24 of us still alive. And one of them was an orc, I'll never forget him, named Throck. And Throck was so quick to call out people on their bulls. And Throck's like, ha ha! Oh, Raylock, how do those blue jammies feel now, buddy? Man, you look stupid there on the ground. Maybe you should have done what Muck said. And I'm like, dude, do not get me involved into this. What are you doing, Throck? And the thing is, Throck had, Throck was that warrior that was like, well, you've got one Sunder, you pulled one second ago, it's time to pop cooldowns. He only played Fury, he popped Rage Potions and all cooldowns one second into the pool, and if you lost aggro, he told you exactly what he thought about your mother. Sharp. I remember him fondly, but he was stressful, chat. He stressed me out. And this was the, and he loved me because I was playing an OP Death Knight at the time and I could keep aggro off of him. I was the only guy that could keep aggro through him just hitting all the buttons one second into the fight. <laughs> it was two O's and a CK, but I like where you're at, Azen. So, Tarot calls him out and Raylock just like goes really quiet. He stops talking. Like, he does not handle this well. And I was just like, okay. So, Fast forward, chat, uh, like 10 hours later. It's like really late at night. I decide to log in and do some dailies. I'm just, I'm playing on my own time. It's not raid time or anything. I log in and I, I get a message from Raylock and it's like full of typos. I'm pretty sure he was drunk and he couldn't type right. <laughs> yes. It was full of typos and it was basically like, they don't even, they don't respect me. They don't listen to me anymore. Everything's changed since I was gone. They only listen to you. You might as well be the one in charge. And this guy was having a full blown meltdown. And I, I, I didn't know what to do. I was just like, what the fuck? I just want to kill dragons. And this guy has a total meltdown. I hardly say anything. And he promotes me. And I was like, again, just member. And he promotes me, just bing, 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 all the way up to like guild leader. And he just leaves in like a fit of drunken sadness. And so the whole guild logs on the next morning and I'm just like, you know, I'm just sitting there with a crown and I'm like, Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what happened. He was dead when I found him. Like, <laughs> it looked so bad. Because he didn't say any of that in like, a, a gil, I'm, I'm like, let, hold on, I need to take some screenshots. I need to show you guys. I, I don't know. Like, he was very upset. And it was like, I had known this guy like a week at this point. And like, I, I was leading the guild so good that in a fit of drunken, just, despair he just gave me guild leader and ran away crying and i don't know what happened to them 
<laughs> so uh, yeah, that was how I uh, took over a guild. <laughs>